Three, two, one. Hold on, it froze. Okay. Three, two, one, three, eight, seven. You're on the air. State your name and where you calling from. I'm here. It's Will Mills. What's oh. up? Ho, 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 ho. Wait, look. Yeah, yeah. Let me give you a couple claps. Listen, I ain't. I'm here. I'm, I'm here. Huh? <laughs> I'm oh, here. Okay, so I, now I'll give you two options before we start. Um, I know you Let's call go. you on the phone line. If you wanted to come in visually, um, you could click the link at the top. Is it on my? It ain't on my channel though, right? No, no actually, I'm at I'm at a comedy show, so I just step out real quick. But I didn't want to I didn't want to miss the opportunity to talk to you. Listen, I appreciate that. So now you have the floor. So now you kind of started this. So I'm gonna give you the floor to speak first. So you started right. saying. You know, we ain't got no okay. buildings. We ain't got that. But now in your second video in response to me, mm. I heard you right. speak about your interactions with others. So now the floor right. is yours. I give you the floor. You can introduce yourself okay. and what you need to say. I'm Will Mills, uh, <laughs> a.k.a. King Dirtbag, uh, comedian, stand-up comedian, internet comedian, podcaster. Um, first of all, let me start this by saying this. In my previous interactions with a few of you, a uh, few of the Israelites, I've actually brought you up to Zariot because you're actually one of the ones I respect. Okay. So I brought you up at several live conversations I had. Um, this didn't start with me. You know, I'm a comedian. That's what I do. And I know my approach comes off kind of aggressive at times, but that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I do comedian. I, I do comedy. I tell jokes. I've been doing this over 10 years. Gotcha. And uh, so I'm on my Facebook page, TikTok, Instagram. I always get some Hebrew Israelites in my comment section <laughs> talking shit to me. Right. So it didn't start with me. So the video you saw with me going off mm -hmm. was a react was a was a response video. Okay. So if I'm gonna follow you right, I got about Halloween. Got okay. So if so, I'm gonna follow you right as you making your comedy videos mm -hmm. and stuff like that, your interaction right. with other Israelites sparked that initial video that I saw. Right. Well, it wasn't just that. You know. You know how y'all get down. You know. I'm, I'm from Brooklyn, so. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I you, you can't walk past. You can't walk past with a mixed girl. You can't see gay people yeah. on the street without trying to say something. <laughs> so you know how it is. So, right. My my interactions over the years since a kid has always been negative with with the black Hebrew Israelites. Okay. Always. Okay. And I must say respectfully, the only interactions I got that I enjoyed was watching you. Like when you went at polite. Mm -hmm. And when you go out different people, it was you I watched and I respected. So it kind of hurt me a little bit to see you going off uh. on me. And I'm like, damn, man. <laughs> so damn, the one, the one cat it that you can listen like, to. Like right, okay, I got I it. I okay, so the one cat that you listen to, you see him making a video like, man, F this right. kid, he dumb. So it made it kind of work for I got me. So I, I was going to call you. Okay. But I had a show tonight. And then when I saw you was going, you was doing a live thing, mm -hmm. I said, man, I'm calling in the show. We're gonna talk directly. I'm not gonna have nobody rewrite my narrative. No, no, that's so, that's that's what's up. That's what's up. And one thing yeah, I can so, say, if, if I don't know how much mm -hmm. of the show you heard, but I was playing mm -hmm. an old video where Mike Epps and Chris Harris was did like a parody. Right, on, I saw that. I right, saw that. and so when they made that parody, you had Israelites that were so angry. They like, you know, they should die. They should do this. They should do that. But that's what, but that's what triggered me because. When I did my, but that's what they were saying to me. Mm -hmm. So when I did that, I, I, I dressed up, I don't know if you watched the show Snowfall. I dressed up like Jerome from Snowfall. Okay, yeah, I know Snowfall, right. Mm -hmm. Right, so I dressed up like Jerome from Snowfall. So somebody jumped in the comment section and said, oh, you too, you too old to be dressing up for Halloween. That's the devil's holiday and blah, blah, blah. So in response to that, I said, you know what? I'm going to dress up like the Hebrew Israelites for Halloween, and I'm going to do a parody of it. Okay. So I did the same thing, kind of like, and then they started wishing death on me. God. And God. then that's when I went off. The video you saw was me going off. I didn't expect it to go crazy the way it did. Right. But you know, it got your attention, and I'm glad. It, I'm I'm glad it kind of got that response because you know it, it, it gives me an opportunity to get some understanding of your organization. Oh, definitely. And you know, and, I'm, and that's what I said. Like you know, I think when in your response video when you was tripping on me for what I said, my first comment was. You know, we're men. So when you throw shots, you got to expect shots to come. But also as men, we should be able to at least have the conversation. So I appreciate you saying Absolutely. you want to learn, you know, about the conversation. 
everybody that says they're Israelite on social media, just like if everybody say they're com- everybody that's a comedian that say they're a comedian is not funny. They're not. There's some right. there's some people right. that's gonna right. say they're comedian. Absolutely. Right. That that just say, hey, I'm a comedian too. So you're gonna have some Israelites just because they got an Israelite name or say that they're Israelite. You can't really take that as saying like they're the Israelite to actually look at. So whatever question yeah. you have, you know, when you say what we building, I'm in my school right now where we have a school in uh, New York City. If you ever, I know you said you're from Brooklyn, but I also know comedians, y'all travel and y'all do work. Like I know a few comedians. Um, yeah. So, yeah. but if you're ever in New York, you can hit me up. You can come to the school. You know I mean? You can see exactly what we no, do. I, yeah. I'll say, I'll say this. You know, I do know that for the most part, you know, the Hebrew Israelites, the goal is always a great thing. It's a positive thing. You wouldn't exist if it wasn't. Right. So when I made that video initially, it was speaking to them. Because what happens is when there's any type of organization, whether it be, you know, uh, or, or religions, Christians, Muslims, it's always the, the, the loud ones out front. Even when you see, you know, even in hip hop, there's always the loud ones out front and they're always the loudest and the most vocal. Right. And a lot of times they don't have the best intentions for their said organization, the best intentions at hand. Okay. So what happens is it gets misconstrued. And then these guys, I'm talking about like, you have no idea, your people, man. They make me feel like I got to get armed up because <laughs> these dudes is in the DMs. They wish to death threats. When we see you, we going to stomp you out. I'm like, man. So I no. said, listen, man. I said, hold on. I said, listen, man. Them capes y'all wearing, I hope that they work. Because it, okay, because so I'm getting so your your shot you throwing is at the cats throwing shots at you. Yes, that's, that's, but that's what it. it's all about. It's not. Okay, I got it, it. But that's what I do. I'm a content creator, so of course, when I'm of sitting course. in the shots. Mm-hmm. And, and, but but I, I I respect the power of the organization when it got when it got to you. When I'm like, damn, to Zari out there. <laughs> when you hit me in the, when you hit me up, listen. It got so bad I turned the comments off. I'm like, damn, these chat is going crazy on me. Right, right, right. But right. when you when you jumped in the comment section, I'm like, oh shit! I called my man. I'm like, damn, sorry, up. And when I saw the message, when I woke up and I saw the message from you, mm-hmm. I was about to hit you back. And then I'm like, damn, this dude that made a video about me. I'm like, <laughs> oh man. Now he go, now I got beef with him too. God damn it, man. Because I called my sauce. So, because when I see the video, I'm like, damn, he said we ain't got no building. I'm, I'm like, damn, we got all this stuff. I said, well, but that's me getting on the dudes right. that be outside. Yeah, cold, and then, green. of course, I don't know that background. So, I all I know is I was right. It, it was never me. Like, yeah. I, have, listen, I have no reason to come at no group of black men for nothing. I'm all about gotcha. the, the, the upliftment of my people. So, I'm like, I ain't gonna come at these dudes for no reason. They did something to me. No sweat, man. We but it's been a long time these dudes be coming at me, and it's like, all right, I get it. Y'all newbies, y'all just learning, and maybe you had a different, you had a, a negative route in your life, and now this is the most positive thing that ever happened to you. So right. now you over, you overzealous about it. So mm-hmm. now even something as simple as a man dressing up for Halloween, you feel like you want to school this man or something. <laughs> So right. me as a comedian, it's like, yo, you coming at the wrong guy. Right. I'm gonna come with jokes. Right. I'm not about to argue with you about your religion. I, I, you know, I'm not saying I don't care about it, but hey, I'm making jokes on these on these apps. Right. I don't care about nothing else besides that. No, no. So when no, you come at me, get it, Rick. No, I definitely mm-hmm. get exact. I get exact. Yeah, it was never nothing. Like I'm not an mm-hmm. activist, and that's what they thinking. It's like, yo, damn, go go look at my 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 page. I'm a I'm a whole comedian. Right. And these guys is coming at me like I'm the next polite. I'm not him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that invested. In I food, would never me? put nobody as polite, man. Listen, I, I, I'm going to tell you, so when I saw your video, so when I first saw your pay, I followed you. When I'm reading the show, I said, I ain't following this nigga, man. But I, I just followed you back on Instagram, man. So you got to follow. But, that's when, listen, but, but listen, I, if you listen to my live videos, you are the one. And I told my people, like, damn, I got Cesario on my back, man. It's problems there. We gotta, we gotta strap up, man. It's gonna be a problem. Man. I can't even go to Harlem. I can't even go see my stories in Harlem no more, man. <laughs> nah, I, I, listen, I'm gonna call the dogs off, and you, you'll be safe. Yeah, now, get them out of here, man. Off, them, man. I'm no talking about my, my brothers and I should be K. So, like, if it's any other Israelite, just know that they're not with me because when I give an order, my men listen. So, like, let's say if after right, right, after right. after this call, whoever's contacting you is definitely not from my organization at all. No, it's been no for the most part. It's been respect. Um, uh, I, I know Nehemiah, the brother, he hit me up. Yeah, because he hit me up. 
And the video, listen, let, let me say some funny shit. The, 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 the video I was initially making was to give him props. Like, yeah, you know, he ain't like the Zariox. And then he made me <laughs> oh, he a message back. To give look, 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 look. <laughs> look, he said, he said, he said, I said, he said, yo, I would love for you to come on the podcast so we could talk. I said, it'd be my pleasure, brother. And he said, hey, man, thank you, man. I'm going to let Cesario know. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking he's not with you. I'm like, damn, that's his people too. These guys are tricky out here. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. That's my man. To come out. Yeah, he down in D.C., man. I, yeah, we, I known him. Yeah, he's a good brother, like, man. Yeah, he's a good brother. He shows the love. Definitely, definitely. He reached, as soon as he spoke to you, he called me reached out to me and um you know i told him I, I was definitely with it but i had already made the video so now the video is out now if i right. heard from him first i would have made no video of course but right right right, right. it was out the video is out and so now through the controversy you know two brothers from two, two different sides and then here's the beautiful thing and this is what this is why i tell israelites they shouldn't react the way that they react because in talking to you now we get to hear not only do you know about the Israelites? You know about us, and it's really the flack yeah. that you was getting. You're really responding back to that. You're responding to the flack right. that you're getting from Israelite. Right. That and, be super duper. And I will say this: mm -hmm. if, if, if you allow me to say this real quick, huh. I would advise them to read the comment section. Just like I spoke when I spoke to Nehemiah, what he said was, "I'm well aware of the flack we get from our approach, from our aggression." And the message not received in a proper way a lot of times. Right. So I would say read my comment section because even though it's me going off, if you read the comments, it's a lot of people that agree with me. Right. And that wasn't my intent, but it brought a lot of awareness to like, you know, maybe it's certain things the way guys are talking to people in a community that if, if, if the approach was a little different, maybe people will get the message a little better and know what the intentions are to black Hebrew Israelites. I agree, I agree with that 100%. And that's why my approach is always like, no matter how the person comes across, I try to listen to them, hear their position, because I, you know, we're not unaware of the reputation that the Israelites have. But it's damn near right. like on, on, a, on, from a youth side. So we look at everything as age. So you take a, a brother that for all, in, you know, be lost or something like that, get some newfound knowledge, right. and, but don't have the discipline or training that it takes to know how to speak, they're going to come across aggressive, overzealous and stuff like that. So there's a certain level of compassions that we have to have for our people on all sides, whether they call themselves Israelites, if they're in a gang, if they, you know, they could be like, I come from a corporate a world background, like my profession, sure. like networking and stuff like that. So even in those, no matter what walk of life we come from, when you get something new, niggas want to make sure everybody get it. They want to shove it down their throat. But you have to learn seasoning to actually how to deliver right. it. So, so from that side, so what I'll do as the captain of all Israel, what I'll do is I'll take the hit for all Israelites only to at this point. Whatever these Israelites do afterwards, that's not on me. But I'll take the hit right, right, right. for everything that they did. So I'll apologize for whatever Israelite offended you up until this point. Now, my men and I should be K. They won't say anything else. So I hope all the other Israelites that hear that will adhere to that and then do the same thing that I did. Do what I did. Just hit the brother in the inbox and don't come with the vendor. Yeah. Now, as you was talking, now the only thing I'll say, hopefully from your side, if won't be no crazy stuff from your side as well, unless now, but I will give you the caveat, if they still keep fucking with you, brother, do what you got to do. I'm never going to stop no brother. Yeah, that's my thing. Yeah. Like, oh, listen, me, as, as a comedian, everything for me is defense. I don't play mm -hmm. offense. When you play offense, you crash out, you do stupid right, shit. Right, you don't right. study the other person. Right. For me, I'm always I'm always covert. I'm watching. I mean, everybody got a back, everybody got a back story. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But me, I'm a comedian. I'm a professional comedian now. I, I, I'm college educated. I got two master's degrees and That's things like that. So for me, I base everything off my intelligence. So when you call me dumb, I'm like, this nigga don't even know who he's talking to. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I was offended. Saying, I'm like, what? <laughs> What's funny is I was just saying, I was just breaking down. I said, now, when I said dumb, I wasn't talking about him as a person. I was just talking right, about right, what right. he was saying about the issue. I was just saying that on the live. I was saying, I ain't calling him. I don't know him to say whether he's dumb or not, right. but what he was saying, um, 
Right, right, right. It's a lack of knowledge on things, yeah, and, and, it's right. a, and it's an assumption. But it's an assumption based off the energy that's being put out. Right, and I'm just reciprocating. Right, right. I'm just reciprocating the same energy that's being thrown in my direction. Right, right, right. So I'm like, all right, y'all, I'm this, I'm that. Okay, now I'm tired of y'all. So that's me. I, I do that. I go on rants. But right. no, anything I do is always in response to what somebody else did first. As a comedian, because my career, my children, my grandchildren, all of that comes first. I know I look young as hell, man, but I'm a grandpa, grand bro. Listen, man, I'm about to be- Yeah, I got grandkids. I know I look young, man, but I'm a grandfather, man, I'm bro. about to be a grandfather in December, man. My daughter, oh, beautiful thing, man. Yeah. It's a beautiful I'll, thing. I'll, I'll let you know if it's beautiful. <laughs> no. but I, I gotta get I gotta get back to this show, man. I, know she, um, I got the information. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind contacting you. And maybe linking up with you in person sometimes. Yeah, hit me up. Listen, man, hit me up. It was beautiful that you called in. I'm glad I did the show now. You was able to call him. We was able to chop it up. So y'all look Oh, no, you wasn't going to have this. Listen, you wasn't going to have the nice conversation. And then I heard heard your man in the background, too. So, well, yeah, he's I heard you. Whoever you are in the background, I heard you. (laughs) Right, right. I heard you. All right, don't no sweat. Yeah, man. I, like, you know what? You got to have a public thing. Let's do it publicly and let's let everybody know Definitely. that it's a building opportunity. And it's actually with that video, even though it resonated from a place when I was frustrated, there's actually people in the world who agree with what I said. And I definitely. think that's important for the young people to know. No, definitely. I, I think I think that ended up being a good thing. That's like it doesn't like promotion is promotion. What you got is what you had to say was important because without you saying that, we wouldn't be having this conversation now. So right, I, and if it wasn't it, right, exactly. You know what I'm exactly. saying? So I, I think it worked out for the better because now two things will also happen. When you go forward talking about it and I go forward talking about it, your audience will know that there are Israelites that don't talk like that, so they'll talk to them. Right. And you know what I'm saying? Right. It's just like... And I'm glad, and, yeah. and I will say I'm glad that you are the one I spoke with because you're the one I know, and you are the one I actually have a high level of the... Of, uh, high level of respect for because i've been watching you for years time christ i appreciate that brother you go ahead man make them laugh man i appreciate that's his will make sure y'all follow him on instagram on his youtube if you i don't know if you have a youtube or not uh, but if you do you can see yeah yeah I, I'm, I have my podcast i've been i've been doing my podcast i'm up to episode uh 200 now Oh yeah, man! Uh, you got to bring me old, on there, man. Let me come up on there, man. Let's, let's, let's do it, man. Out. Let's do it. You can, listen, you can title that man. shit like all the questions y'all want to ask a crazy Israelite. Yo, I'm let's like, do it. That'd be that'd be hell great, yeah. Man. Just let's hit me it, up. We'll rock it out. All right, my brother. All right, no sweat. Thank peace. you for having me, man. No sweat. Peace. Good night. Good night. Hey, man, look what that oh. happened, man. Now I can't talk no more trash on the brother. And for all you Israelites, I had to apologize for all y'all Israelites. Shout out to my man. Let me get his whole name. Shout out to my man, Will. Ashar, find his link on Instagram, man. Promote that brother, Will, Will Mills. Will Mills, that's W-I-L-M-I-L-Z. That's Will Mills that's on right. Instagram. Follow the brother. We're going to Cross the Line Radio.